have been thinking about my white lamp challenge project and I kind of have gone through a few different ideas. I started looking around my house and I found these old cork, um, these are really like message boards that we had set up in the office of our old house and we haven't really used them for anything in the house right now. And I started thinking about like these really cool mid-century lamps that I once saw at a vintage store that had a cork base. So I was thinking about how could I wrap this cork around the base somehow. And that was a challenge. <laughs> so my idea, I don't know if it's gonna work, but my idea is to use this can of breadcrumbs that I've cut the top and bottom out of and use that to wrap the cork around um, with some E6000 and some clamps and I have some giant rubber bands and see if we can get that to take a cylindrical shape. Um, then I will cut another piece of cork to kind of cap the top and glue that onto the base. Uh, this brush silver base is fine, but I'm going to give it a coat of chalk paint. Um, I picked chalk paint because one, I already have it. <laughs> And two, you don't have to prime things. It sticks really well to all surfaces. Um, so I have a nice like matte charcoal color that I'm going to paint the base. Once that's done, I'm gonna take the shade, give it a coat of paint on the outside with the soft fabric paint. And then just for a little extra glitz, I'm going to paint the inside of it with some gilding paint to make it all gold and glowy when it's turned on. So let's cross your fingers that that all works because <laughs> I have no idea if it will. All right, so first I am going to take the lamp apart and then we're going to paint the base. I'm gonna take a piece of painter's tape and wrap it around the cord to just try not to get paint on the cord. I'm a little bit of a messy painter. And now we're gonna go ahead and give that a coat of our chalk paint. Now again, I really like this because you don't have to prime first. Um, and you get a really smooth matte finish without a lot of brush strokes. It usually only takes two coats, it dries quickly, and it's non-toxic so you can use it indoors, which is really a big plus for me. And don't stress about getting paint on the inside here because that is going to be covered up by our cork. Okay, so while that coat of paint dries, we are going to give a coat of paint to our lampshade. I'm going to start with a coat of soft fabric paint on the outside. I'm using fabric paint because that's what I had and part of the challenge said I could not buy anything else. So you don't have to use fabric paint. You could use any acrylic craft paint that is suitable for fabric if you're using a fabric lampshade. So I'm just gonna squirt the paint right on here and brush it on. The nice thing about using a fabric paint like this is it's, it goes on really smoothly and it's nice and opaque. Um, depending on the color you're using, you can probably get away with just one coat. So you can see that paint went on pretty smoothly. And I did kind of paint the, the top and bottom edge as well. Um, don't worry if you get paint on the inside there because we're going to go over the inside with our gilding paint once this dries. So while we wait for our first coat of paint to dry, I'm going to get started on the cork base. I'm going to start by setting the breadcrumb canister down and just marking about a quarter inch um, above and below just because I want to make sure that you don't see the canister on the finished lamp. So I'm just going to mark that with a sharpie. And now I'm going to use a straight edge and a utility knife and just go slowly and you'll, you should be able to cut through that cork pretty cleanly. Now this piece of cork overlaps just a hair. So I'm going to try to trim it now. I'll kind of check to make sure that fits before we do any gluing. That will work, I hope. Before we start gluing to this, I'm going to use it as a guide to cut a round piece to fit at the top of our lamp base, just so we have that size all ready to go. So kind of cut that little circle out and we will come back to this guy later. So we've got some big rubber bands and I have a couple little clamps that I'm going to use to hold this in place. So I'm going to start by spreading a generous layer 
of our E6000 craft glue on the cork. I'm using this glue because one, it's really strong, um, and two, it actually works better after it sits for a couple of minutes and gets more tacky, whereas hot glue starts to cool right away and I feel like you have less time to kind of wiggle. All right, so take your canister and center it on the cork. So we're gonna let that guy dry. I'm gonna not think about that for a little bit. Now we're going to add our gilding paint to the inside of our lampshade. This is definitely kind of like an extra step, but I think when you see the glowy gold interior and how pretty it is, you will agree that it's worth it. Uh, now gilding paint is very, very fumy. It has all kinds of like really, really um, stern warnings written on it. So I'm going to do this outside. I am going to take this apart. It didn't dry completely round, so I'm gonna keep the seam um, in the back. So what I'm going to do is slide this over the base. And I could just leave it like that, but I'm, I'm gonna put a bead of glue along the bottom just so this um, stays in place and, you know, seems a little bit more structurally sound. I'm just going to put a bead of glue. You don't really need too much. We're just kind of trying to secure this in place. Try to center it in place with the seam in the back. So I also remember we cut this circle of cork to kind of fit into the top. So I'm just going to um, cut a notch into this to the halfway point. And I'm just going to, I kind of eyeball a circle. Our cork cylinder did not exactly form a perfect cylinder, so this may take some fiddling to kind of get it right. So now our gilding paint has dried, our fabric paint has dried. We can reassemble our lamp. I may make a few more tweaks here and there, but you will just have to see the finished product when all the girls are here. We'll see who, who came up with the best lamp. I don't know if it's me. Uh -huh.